Lowering blood sugar is way harder than it needs to be with sleep apnea due to the unique metabolic crud going on. So I'm going to show you what that is and how you can fix that. So instead of having high numbers in the morning, you can have nice, happy blood glucose numbers. So here's Superman. Hi, mom. Uh, this is a paper. You know, this is the graph in it. They looked at blood glucose levels. Wowie. In people with mild sleep apnea, that's the blue. And then uh, bad sleep apnea, moderate, severe, the red. As you can see, they kind of follow this pattern where in mild, it's kind of like a normal person. Glucose goes down at night. We, if sleep apnea is bad, it goes up and that's not good. Now, the reason that glucose goes up at night is because of the swings and oxygen going down. It causes metabolic problems and that leads to insulin resistance so that no matter what you eat, if you're having oxygen constantly drop, glucose has no choice but to stay elevated. So that's why it's very important to do everything you can to help stabilize your breathing at night, whether it's CPAP, a mouth guard, with sleeping on your side, incline bed, breathing exercises, all of those are available to you to make sure that your glucose levels are able to be in a normal spot. Now, my favorite highly biased opinion are the breathing exercises. You want some help with that? Click the red button here or the, the shop button down below or go to the website that is over my face. Type that into your web browser.